Hey everybody, this is the fourth year. And in this video, I wanted to show you guys how you can take the reverb in Harmer and use it to affect other synthesizers and other sounds so that you can have the same reverb on your other sounds as you have in Harmer. Now I figured this out while I was making my big room track with that hardstyle kick uh, called Fairy Farts. And you can hear that this is the preset that I used for the bell sound. And I really liked that long, big reverb that it has. So, you know, I tried to turn the reverb off and see if I could get, you know, a different reverb to sound similar and nothing sounded quite as good as this reverb sounded for these bells. So I kind of thought for a bit and then, and we all know that Harmer has some great resampling uh, or technically resynthesis capabilities. So I thought, yo dog, I heard you like resampling. So let's resample the reverb from your resampler so we can put it on your other resampled sound. And so that's exactly what I did. So the first thing I did was I loaded up a fresh Harmer and I went to the image tab and went over to impulses in your browser, went to special and then IMP centered long. And now I can play this impulse with Harmer. And what this impulse is, it's for the Fruity Convolver reverb plugin, which is basically a reverb sampling plugin. And once I had that impulse on there, I went to the effects section, turned the reverb on, and I'm not going to do it in this video just for the sake of time, but I copied all of these values for the reverb and I pasted them over into the fresh armor. And I made sure this was warm because this one's a warm reverb. And yeah. So I copied all of those values, pasted them into this Harmer, and then I had my impulse sound with the nice reverb that I really liked. So then once I had that, I linked the Harmer to a track and loaded up in Edison to record that. So here we go. And then what I did is, here's my other sound that I want to put that reverb on. Yeah. And I'm going to turn off the uh, delay so you can hear it better. And I loaded up a Fruity Convolver. And I dragged this sampled reverb into the convolver. Now there's a bit of time before the impulse actually happens. So you do want to trim that appropriately. And you know, just zoom in pretty far and do what seems right to you. Um, yeah, you don't want to cut it too close, but at the same time, in, uh, too much extra space will cause there to be too much pre-delay. So uh, I'm going to turn on snap to zero crossing just to avoid uh, any clicks that I don't want. And I'll set it to about here. And I will go up to the editing tools and delete that out. So now I have this as my reverb. And I'm going to clear some of that tail too, just to uh, avoid any possible computer usage that I don't want. So here's that reverb. And you'll hear this sound is going through that reverb now. And I can turn that up using the wet knob if I want to. So 
So yeah, that's how you can, you know, get the reverb from Harmer and use it on other sounds. And the reason I made this tutorial is because I know a lot of people are using Harmor for basses and sounds like that. And you know, if you do want to use Harmor's internal reverb, or if you have used it on a certain sound and it sounds great, you know, uh, this is how you can do that to get that same reverb on other sounds. Or even if you want to process the sound a little bit more, you can get that same reverb on the sound after all that uh, processing in the mixer. So hopefully at least, you know, somebody will get some use out of this the way I did. But yeah, see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching my tutorial video. I hope you found it to be helpful. If you want to learn more, be sure to subscribe to my channel so you can watch new videos as soon as I upload them. After that, check out the Beat School website. I'll have the link in the description. All my tutorials are organized on the site so that you can easily find what you need by browsing through the different categories. There are also a ton of awesome resources to help you in every aspect of music production. And if you want to help support me, you can buy any of my sample packs, preset packs, or project files for only $5 or less. This gets you some great sounds for a great price and allows me to spend more time making these tutorials and working on the website. Thanks again for watching my video and have a great day.